An Olympic gold medalist is in hot water. Cleet Keller, who you can see here in photographs from the Capitol riots last week, was even wearing his Team USA jacket. Yeah, he's also very tall, very, very tall. So people spotted him right away. Well, he turned mm. himself into federal authorities yesterday and was charged with three crimes related to his involvement. Keller is a three-time Olympic swimmer. He earned five medals over his career, including a couple of gold medals for Team USA. Now, some are saying if he's convicted, he should lose his Olympic medals. DBL Nation, we want to hear from you on this one. Do you think that, that, that that's fair? Is that going too far or is that the consequences that he should suffer. Go to dblvote.com. Tell us what you think. Um, Jeff, what do you make of this? You know, Sam, I could go either way with this. So whichever way you guys are going to go, I'll go the opposite. But I'll, I'll, just start, <laughs> I'll just start off on the opposite. If you take away his medals, it, that doesn't mean he did not earn them at the time, right? I just immediately go to O.J. Simpson. He won the Heisman Trophy in 1968. You could take away that trophy from him. You could take away that object. But ultimately, he earned that, that trophy in 1968. So my question is, if you take away those gold medals, they're worth something they're worth value who gets them does I, the government take them and do you get do you get paid back for what so they're worth or I, don't I know have how some inside works. baseball on this one I don't think he knows where his medals are so I swam <laughs> with him which is a problem yeah so I swam, you swam with him I swam now listen I swam for team UCLA he swam for USC during the same times we we're always around the same circle I do not know him personally um, but that swimming community at that level is very close now and you all know of each other I, I could say it to that point. Um, what I can lend is I know that after the Olympics, like many athletes, they lose their identity. They don't know what to do with themselves. And with him, it hit him hard. So within the swimming community, we all knew that he became homeless. We all knew that he lost his medals. Maybe he sold his medals. This is all just what Whoa. I know from that community. Um, this is not in any way, shape or form trying to paint him in a sympathetic light. Let me get that clear. Um, so I don't know if he knows where his medals are. I do know that he made a comeback so to speak. Um, a couple of years ago, he's in Colorado Springs, was a realtor. I did check in to see if he's still a realtor on, at that site, and he's no longer employed by them. So from what I would understand, it looks like they fired him or he resigned. Um, he also just didn't turn himself into authorities. I should say that. It was his team members, team members that I know, that turned him in. Well, so well, when they saw wow. that video, they knew exactly it was him and his team members, people that knew him, turned him in. Um, sorry. To wow. No, no, I was just going to say, next time you got that kind of information, just dish it out. I just was babbling no, for no reason. Your point, <laughs> your point is, is going back to your point, because that's what everybody's talking about today. Should he keep these medals? Listen, and I don't say this lightly, considering that I know all the blood, sweat, and tears it took for him to get those medals and to get to that level. I think he should have his medal stripped, considering that there's already a precedent, if there wasn't a precedent, right? So there's been athletes that have done far less than him that have had their medal stripped. So because there's a precedent, he should have his medal stripped. Also, when you look at that footage, Tori, he's in the rotunda and he's pushing back against law enforcement. So we all know what happened that day. We all know that officers lost their lives that day. So this is, uh, there's gotta be very, very, very stiff consequences. Yeah, I think it's interesting because the people that are going to make the decision are the International Olympic Committee. I think I'm, I, I'm correct on that, Sam. And what's interesting is they're going to let us know if they, his medals do get stripped, what the global community feels about the Capitol riots. We haven't heard from the world, and this might be the first sense that the world is condemning them by stripping him of those medals. Yeah, that's interesting. Where, where do we go, though? Like, listen, I've, I'm all for taking away those medals, right? I'm not putting up a case against it. But how far right. do we go with this, right? Do we go back in time with Oscars, Grammys, with well, everything? Right. I, I think when, when we're really having this conversation, it's not about the actual physical right. thing. The, you know, nobody, it's not like any of us really know. Like, well, I know it's not in his bookshelf anymore, you know. <laughs> it's about the symbolism of the idea that he embarrassed his country. And not only did that act, but wearing the Team USA jacket. Yeah, the USA. Yeah. Like, it's yeah. such a smack in the face. If I was one of his teammates, I would have driven him to the FBI. Yeah, he's, he's been pretty disenfranchised for a long time, according to a lot of his close friends. So, um, wow. sad, really is sad, and I hope he faces uh, the full prosecution of the law because... He deserves it. 52% uh, of you believe that he should lose his Olympic medals. We love hearing from you, DBL Nation. Thank you. Oh, he should not. 
Wow, 52% disagree with us. Okay, you know what? That is A-OK. -okay. It's par for the course.